During the last six years living and traveling on my sailboat Carl, I have witnessed the drastic effects of plastic pollution along many shorelines, but also out on the ocean. As an individual, I try to reduce the amount of plastic, especially single-use plastic, that I use in my daily life. I pick up plastic trash wherever I go, and we try to raise awareness for the issue of plastic pollution on our planet through our platform in motion. Another way to fight the problem is to address governments and companies about the urgency to address this threat. One way to do this is to help collect data to show the extent of the pollution of the ocean with plastic. That's why I decided to build a microplastic trawler and to take microplastic samples throughout my onward journey. After some online research, I decided to build the Lady Trawl, a build-it-yourself research trawl that collects microplastic on the surface of the ocean when towed behind a boat. The Lady is a smaller, less expensive and easy to build open source alternative to the current scientific standard, the Manta Trawl, which costs $3,500 instead of $500 and is a lot heavier and requires specialized equipment and skills to create. After downloading the instruction plan on 5gyres.com slash DIY minus trawl, we started looking for the parts in Panama. As usual, it's Eric that is helping us and uh, he found a piece of wood in his workshop that was scrap. With the help of Eric, we recycled an old hardwood plank from the boatyard that just had to be cut a little bit to build the frame of the trawl. After that, we headed over to Discovery Center to get the rest of the supplies needed. And except for the 335 micronet that we ordered from Holtec Aquatic in Canada, we were able to find everything that we needed. We only have a small Kia Picanto, so we have to cut the pipe a little bit to make it fit. The Lady Trawl consists of three main parts. The wooden frame, the floating arms and the net. The net is made from 335 micron mesh and has a bigger front part that connects to the frame and a smaller detachable part at the back end where your microplastic sample gets collected during the trawl. So, I'm in California in Rosewell and I have brought up the little mesh for the net for the lady trawler because I don't have a sewing machine on board so I thought it would be a good opportunity to actually get the net soon sewed sewed soon
two parts are connected with a PVC pipe and hose clamps. And don't worry, you really just only need basic sewing skills to master this job. This one is the part I want. In Ecuador, it's finally time to build the microplastic trawler. Maria is the power tool master, so we headed over to her boat Joanna to cut the wood for the wooden frame before assembling the trawler on my sailboat Carl. Now we're gonna put the net in. Once the frame is built, the net gets mounted between the outer and the inner frame, which is a slightly tricky task. After that, six PVC pipes get attached to the sides and afterwards stabilized by webbing a line around them. These parts are gonna keep the trawler afloat. Well, and that's it. You have to mount a towing line and the trawler is finished. Ta-ta! Okay, today's a big day. Um, we're gonna see if our trawler actually floats. <laughs> Oh yeah? Lots of them. Lots of fish? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, this is our cat poop sample. <laughs> that just happened because I shook it and just like now looks like poop so I'm gonna dig in now and um, try to see if I find any microplastic <laughs> trawling for microplastic in a river has surely been an interesting experience since we also caught a fair bit of organic items Hopefully the examination of the trawl sample will be a little easier once we trawl on the ocean. But more about that next week.